Hi everyone, I'm back. Actually, I got back a couple days ago. Um, actually, <laughs> let's say the cruise was nine days, but we had to go, yeah, a day and a half early and it took us a couple days to get home because of the way the flights went and we spent lots of lovely, such a comfortable time in the airport. On the way home, it was so nice. Not. Anywho, those are the pains and aches for having such a fantastic, beautiful trip. It was the best experience I've had any time for a trip. A cruise ship. <laughs> I went on the Rotterdam I think it's, I don't know, the newest one. The, the I, Maybe they only have one run at the same time. I think they only do. The Rotterdam. And I got to get some things uploaded. But I will tell you, we went to Fort Lauderdale. Spent the night there. We almost got, um, well, we did get stuck in the elevator in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> at the hotel. Um, hopefully it didn't last too long. We were in what well, was myself and Trevor and some other fella. And uh, we were, oh my gosh, if we don't get to the cruise ship, we're going to miss it, right? But the guy kept trying to push the door open and sticking his hand up to pull some kind of lever. Anyway, to make a long story short, he got us out, thank the Lord, but he almost lost a few fingers doing it. So that was kind of silly, but <laughs> I don't know. It's done and over with. We're, we were out, we got to the ship, we get on the ship. The ship was absolutely fantastic. I miss my barnet. I miss my shirt. Um, so anyway, um, we get on the ship. I would say we got like a Black Friday deal, so it was really good. The expensive part, well, it's not cheap to get on a cruise ship. I mean, but I mean, with the added expense of getting ourselves to Fort Lauderdale, which resulted in a ticket to on the way down Montreal, then Fort Lauderdale. So from Halifax, Montreal, hours waiting, Fort Lauderdale. On the way back, it was Fort Lauderdale, Toronto. Hours and hours and hours waiting, like was it eight, nine hours in the airport. Um yeah, and then back to Halifax. So, and then we got to, excuse me, Halifax. There was a storm. We had lots of snow, so we had to hang around in the car for a while because, of course, we weren't thinking. We were just thinking about the sun, and we didn't put the snow scraper in the car, and we had to dig ourselves out of the parking lot, um, and uh, so that was lots of fun, and uh, then we went to a place to eat, which is like an Irving, big Irving, a big stop. Um, to eat and hung around there for a while to see if the snow would settle down because you know we did have winter tires but there was a lot of cars off the road on the highway and stuff so we decided we'd pull over and do that for a while kill time so it was a long travel back um i took lots of gaba <laughs> um but once again like the highlight oh the cruise ship oh what can i say the entertainment, top-notch. The food, top-notch. Our cabin was fantastic. Um, sadly, someone passed away on the cruise ship when we were there. I think they passed away, or I'm guessing that's what happened by the looks of things. Um, and it wasn't far from our cabin. Um, but what you can do on the ship, and the three ports that we went to were Carousel, uh, Half Moon K, um, which is in Bahamas, and why can't I think of the first one that we went to? Why can't I think of it? What's the name of it? Goodness gracious. Anyway, I'll think of it while I'm talking. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, kept thinking about Mabel and came back. And, you know, that's in my mind about my Mabel. We'll just wait and see how things go. Um, 
with Mabel and her foot and what that's going to look like for Mabel. But back to my little Charlotte. So happy to have Charlotte and with my babies. I got a lot of videos to put together and put up. I wanted to jump on here and just say a little something. Um, and that the trip was beautiful. I would definitely go on a cruise ship again. I would say everybody should have that on their bucket list. Absolutely, for sure. Um, it needs to be something that people do if they can financially do. Um, it's so interesting because we met a lot of people that do back-to-back -back cruises and also some people that basically, oh, excuse me, live on a cruise ship. Can you imagine living on a cruise ship? Basically, that's what they do. I mean, what's not on a cruise ship, we'll say. I had one scare where I left the pool in quite a fast pace i said to trevor i gotta go and uh, i'm not feeling good um, i get on the elevator and uh went to press like to go to the medical discovered when i went to the medical floor that the medical floor was roped off you couldn't get to it you had to call a number they were or make an appointment or call 911 because they were only open so i went up to my room but i think like i had heavy heavy heaviness in my chest my arms were stinging. I felt lightheaded. I felt nauseated. And it seemed to come on really fast. And um, my chest was heavy for a while after that. But I got a cold, cold face clot, put it on my forehead, laid in front of the fan in the bed, um, in the cabin. Um, and, uh, stripped down just, just my underwear, my bra, and just laid there and and then i started to feel better started to feel better i think it was just too much sun i don't know every once in a while i get heaviness in my chest however you know the doctors keep telling me it's nothing well my family doctor tells me continues to tell me that um it's basically nothing so i said to him does that mean it's basically stress like you're saying it's stress related so basically it's in my head. I don't know. Anywho, didn't seem in my head at that time. So anyway, that was a scare, but it all worked out. Um, I did discover you need to dress up on cruise ships. I mean, towards the end of the cruise, I looked and I seen that it says for the day if it's casual, smart, casual or dressy. We went to a dining room meal and I guess it was dressy and... <laughs> <laughs> it was a gala so yeah we were kind of out of place i mean really out of place i mean if i plan on going on another cruise ship i need to get some other kind of piece of clothing because my clothing did not fit in and i bought two new pairs of sandals that i got from marketplace and of course i got um one was dressy dressy that i could barely walk in i thought i was gonna kill myself <laughs> and they only had a heel like this but i'm just it's been years you know what i mean I, I, yeah, anywho, I wasn't much for wearing a lot of, in my 20s, early 20s, and my jobs when I worked in the portrait studios and things, I did um, wear some heels, but behind counter, I would take them off and yada yada. So, um, never been one to enjoy or love or master the heel walking. So, I wasn't the greatest. And the other pair of sandals that I had, I ended up getting blisters from. So I knew you had to dress up, you know, smart, casual, I guess, somewhat dressed up, you know, um, going to the dining room area. And so that particular gala night, I wore like, uh, like a nice flowy side dress type thing. And, um, but I put my sneakers on. <laughs> Didn't have makeup on, didn't do anything like that. I put makeup on a couple of times when I went, but I'm not, that's just not what I do and um, on a regular basis, but I did because, you know, we were on a cruise ship, you know? So, um, yeah, I felt really underdressed. I mean, we're talking suit and tie, um, sparkly gowns, hair all up like you're going to a prom sort of event. So, yeah, it was interesting. 
I imagine there was a lot of people looking going. But, you know, what do you know? I don't know. It'll be different. When you know better, you know better, right? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to say I had the time of my life. The drink package that we bought was an additional thing. We don't need it. We felt like we were trying to drink to actually make the money count, but we're not drinkers anymore. I mean, if you're drinkers, like I, I think on average, I might have had two pina coladas a day. Um, you need to drink a lot more to make it that um, worth your while. So the next time on a cruise ship, we're voiding on that. Um, we like some teas and and stuff like that. And we can easily get that included or just pay out of pocket at that time because we didn't drink enough to make it worthwhile. Uh, we did buy insurance prior to the ship, prior to the trip, which upped our cost almost like a thousand dollars, which was crazy. We won't do it again. But the reason why is because COVID was starting to come up again. And we thought, oh my gosh, what happens if we get COVID? We don't want, we want to be insured that we can cancel that. Next time, I think we'll just take the chance and, and lose the trip money because <clears throat> that was an added expense that wasn't needed. And we had to spend a hotel in Halifax, a hotel in Fort Lauderdale on the way down. On the way back, I think we disembarked the ship by 8.30 in the morning in Fort Lauderdale. And our flight didn't leave until 9.30 that night. So all that time, we had to hang around in the airport. We could have, I guess, put our luggage somewhere. I don't know. Maybe you could pay for... Because we only had carry-ons. We didn't have luggage that was check luggage. So it's not like we could put our luggage somewhere and, and take off in Fort Lauderdale for the day. Whatever the hell we would do, because we don't really know. Um, what, but, but I mean, if we could have done that, we could have done that and explored around. Um, but yeah, but we didn't do that. So it's kind of like hanging around the airport, which was oh my gosh, not, fun. not comfortable, not fun. Um, but it is what it is. And uh, it was all worth it. All worth it. So go on the Rotterdam. Go Rotterdam. That's what it's called. And uh, I'm looking forward to uploading my other videos. This is my Charlotte. Christmas is around the corner. Um, I love my sweet little angel. And um, I've got a lot of catching up to do. I have not decorated anything yet. I'm wondering if I'm going to do that yet. She seems a little shiny there. It's probably for me kissing her so much. I've kind of rubbed off maybe some... Some of her, uh, I don't know if you call it layer, because I can, it's probably for me smooching her. But that's okay. She's well loved. I love her. She's with me forever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I missed you guys. I've missed the videos. I've got to get on there, watch the videos again. I've got to get back to making my YouTube videos. i got to start editing and putting some pieces of video together. I'm going to have like a little travel section if anybody's interested in that on my channel. If not, I get it. Um, watch what, what interests you. I appreciate you guys so much for just checking in and watching my channel and um, being in my little internet world and spending time, some of your time, with me. I love spending time some of my time with you guys and um i'm looking forward to it in the future um yeah so once again i hope everybody's been fine the last week or so i'm gonna find out because i got some videos to check up on since i've got home i've been checking in with um my son and some things there and uh, catching up on a shitload of laundry um and trying to get the house back in order because it was in such disarray and i gotta figure out the christmas thing who's got their christmas tree up there now are you guys into putting your christmas tree up right away what do you guys like for christmas you know what me i really feel my life the point of my life right now i want to really minimize everything and i've been talking about that for a while so yeah 
who do I put the tree up for anyway? My son, my family, so they feel like they have like a Christmas. However, like a Christmas feeling. I'm just not into it. I'm just not. I'm just not. All right, as you can tell, my mermaid color has disappeared. I think the mermaid color disappeared maybe from the chlorine in the pool. Um, I'm still trying to think of the first port of entry <laughs> that we stopped at. I'm still trying to think. I got a little bit of some, not much, a little bit of peeling on my shoulders a bit, and my back a bit. Um, I put a hat on, glasses, covered up as much as I could. Because all I do is is freckle and, and peel and burn. There's no tanning. Tanning is when a bunch of freckles join together. That's how I tan. But, but um, yeah, I had a great, great time, guys. And um, do, 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 do. What is the name? Aruba. There you go. Aruba. Aruba Carousel. Um, 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 Half Moon K, which is owned by Holland America, an island in the Bahamas. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I came back to this snowy, snowy place. Oh, anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye.